This video offers advice for faculty when coming to any of Conestoga's classrooms. Beforehand, ensure you have your one card and any required keys to enter your classroom. You'll also need your smartphone to facilitate multi-factor authentication requests when signing in to Conestoga accounts. If this is your first time visiting campus, download the Honk mobile app to help with parking. You can also download the Conestoga mobile safety app to help with locating classrooms. Consider arriving earlier on the first days to become oriented to campus. Arriving at your classroom, you'll find most podiums are standardized. There are display controls, lighting controls, a Windows 10 PC, and a swiveling monitor at the front of the room. To prepare to present, first turn on the projector. As it warms up, Take a moment to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Use the CC Secure or Edgy Roam network and sign in with your Condor ID and password. If you visited campus in the past and have since changed your password, make sure to forget the network on all your devices before coming to campus. Once on campus again, you can then sign in to the network with your updated password. Next, set up the display. You can use the PC at the podium or connect your laptop or tablet using the provided HDMI wire or Wi-Fi source wireless connection. Your device may require an adapter to use the HDMI connection. If you are using the podium computer, adjust the monitor stand to a comfortable height. Be careful of any cords. In display settings, choose whether to duplicate your screen to the projector or extend the display, which gives you privacy and lets you view presenter's notes in presentations. While getting ready, you can use the AV mute button to temporarily hide the display. Then, prep your materials. Use the browser to visit the IT support site, it.conestogac.on.ca. The home page allows you to jump into eConestoga or the OneDrive. It's always recommended to store all course content in one of these spaces. USBs can easily be lost or stolen. Be sure to have your mobile device ready as you may need to confirm your account via multi-factor authentication. If a presentation is stored in eConestoga, this means you'll need to download a copy. When presenting your PowerPoints, make sure to present in full screen. This will allow you to use animations and embedded videos and use digital inking to write on slides like a whiteboard. If you've used the AV mute or projector blank button to hide your screen, press it again to show your presentation to the class before starting. If you're using the classroom PC, you can also choose to use the interactive projector. Find two interactive markers mounted on the whiteboard or podium to aid you in using this engaging classroom technology. Advance your slides, zoom in or out on diagrams, and draw on slides. Some classrooms are also equipped with touch interactive projectors. At break time, or if stepping away, it's required that you lock the device you're using. This protects your privacy and content. To lock your device, on the keyboard, press the Windows and L button simultaneously for Windows devices, or Control, Command, and Q on a Mac. On a tablet, simply press the lock button. At the end of class, be sure to end class 10 minutes to the hour to leave time for the next class to transition in. Also, make sure to sign out of the PC if you have used it, and if the room will not be used afterwards, turn off the projector. Be sure you clean the board and ask your students to remove any garbage from the tables. If you anticipate any challenges in preparing to teach in Conestoga's classrooms, reach out to Teaching and Learning for help.